very nice colours. Are you keeping an eye on the measurements? How much paint do you have to have? Shoot, I went over. Just over. You're just over? Yeah. Okay. Um, you've got some darks at the top there. Do you want to add some more bright colours? Maybe red or yellow? Just a bit? Probably the yellow. Yeah, because the yellow's actually also got that um, golden hair. Okay. And pour it high up as well so it mixes in. Okay, enough, enough. <laughs> you see how it's selling up over there? Yeah. See that yellow bit there that's selling? It's looking pretty cool already. I love those colours. Your colour choice is really good. Awesome. Right, so this is um, Claudia's first attempt at doing a um, straight pour. Yeah, so you can either start and pour low or you can pour much higher if you want or do both. Uh, try and stay in one spot, although I need is your, your artwork. That's actually pretty, very pretty. Wow. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to film really up close, which we don't often get to see. It's really cool. I like the way you're going up and down like that. You're creating such an awesome effect on the side there. And look at that, you've got cells popping up already. When you get to the end of the cup, uh -huh. put car carry on going until you've finished. Then go quite low and you get your other hand ready because you're going to catch that drop because you don't want it to drop anywhere else. So once you've actually finished, you can do that. It looks like you've actually got some really awesome effects in there. I like the way when you're going up and down like that. Okay, so... Um, I think I'm going to help you torch, if that's alright. Yep. Because this torch is a th flamethrower. But look at that. Look at those cells popping up and look at that effect that she's gotten from going, uh, pouring higher and lower and higher and lower consistently. All the little cells and things that are popping up. That's pretty cool. bubbles are going to turn into little cells as well and it also helps the paint and um, you know the, the cells in it come through more look at that in the middle way that that is actually it's really beautiful right so it is seriously looking divine um what I would suggest, because you're a pretty newbie, choose a corner that you're not, mm, I know it's all beautiful, but you're not particularly uh, wanting to keep, you know, as much, and start tilting. So you need to pick up the, the canvas. So say you were going to tilt that side, for example. Um, but move it around like this first. Oops, sorry people, you probably got drunk now. <laughs> um, you know, just in a round way so that you can stretch that out more before you tilt it off a corner. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Okay. So not the corner that you're tilting, but the other corner. Pick it up. Uh, no, no. You're going to pick up the whole canvas. Whole canvas, yes. yes. Pick up and then just swirl it around so that this moves in a round, in a kind of a round way. Yeah. You know, so you're moving the paint, it's it's kind of moving like that. Okay. Before you tilt it off the board.
That's right. Perfect. Right, so the reason why you're doing that is because um, you want more effects to come out and you're moving the paint. Come a bit more this way. You seem to be tilting it. No, not... <laughs> <laughs> not you physically. <laughs> the paint. <laughs> yes. Let's keep going around. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was so literal. <laughs> Okay, so I need a tilt. Don't yep, tilt yep. it. Come back, come back this way. Perfect, it's looking good. Okay, go bear that way a bit. Still maneuvering that. Okay, and then go back to the center. Because you always want to recenter your center, you know where it came from. Right, that is gorgeous. Okay, slowly, a little bit more to this side, I think, because that needs to be more where it came from. Okay. Now set it down. Which side, which corner are you? You wouldn't mind getting rid of this corner. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to pick it up and you're going to tilt that side yep. off and bring it back quickly. Okay. So tilt it slow, bring it back quick. And always watch your composition and what's going on everywhere else because you don't really want to lose any of that right now. Mm -hmm. And if you are able to look in more than one place, you can see what's actually happening to the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, come back. And you want to go back to the center. So, Claudia, okay, um, set it down. Now, we... Do you want to keep all that white in the center there? It actually looks quite cool. Yeah. So where next will you tilt? Um, you know, you've got to also remember that you've got less paint in that section now yeah. compared to, I mean, you've got, yeah, I think your weight is pretty there? much over here, but <clears throat> you also, I know you want the greens, um, you know, your choice of colors was more bright. So when you're tilting, because you've already got most of that off, look at those little cool little cells sitting over there. Um, so you can tilt, not a lot, but just do like what you did there, on that corner there. Because you're going to bring it back again, and then, um, you know, to the centre. Mm. You're watching everything else that you're losing on the board? Yep. Bring it back when you're ready and you don't want to lose any more. Okay, um... Wow. This is unreal. So... Where to next? So whatever decision you make now, you must also realise that you're going to be stretching out quite a bit. Of whatever else is going on so and just um, stretch it out a little bit here and then leave it you want this white on yeah you want the white space yeah um it's a good idea although i don't know how much paint is on here because i'm not tilting it how much paint does it feel like is actually on the the canvas does it feel it still feels pretty heavy. Um, but it does it feel like it's imbalanced? Like it's heavier in one place more than the other? Um, you know what I would do? What? Just a suggestion. I would tilt a little bit more that one. of this. You see you've got all this beautiful stuff going on. Then you've got all of these 
little lines here. Yeah. So if you could try maybe stretch those little lines out a little bit. Is that what you want or not? It's yeah, your decision. Hey? We can do that. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then um yeah, just a teeny bit. And be careful where you putting your fingers on the sides. Try and grip it from underneath. Yeah, I've got a white space right here, that's one right <laughs> there. Yeah, you can always touch it up just now with um what's you know, the drips. Yep. Okay, so we're going a little bit off here just to try and stretch that out a bit more. Mm, it's not clean. It will come. Okay. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be... You're losing a lot over here. And you're stretching those out too much. It's always tricky when you're not doing it yourself. So, um, what about that corner over there? Are you going to leave it like that? Or are you going to go for yeah, it? I just want to do that a little bit. You want to pull bit. it out? Okay. Um... Just be careful how you're tilting, because you're tilting, you're tilting more like that way instead of opposed to, to kind of that way in the corner, because you're going to lose all of this. You're overstretching this side, if you know what I mean. Yep. What do you want to do? It's your call. I like it like that. You like it like that with the white over there, because it kind yeah. of balances it out, eh? Yep. It doesn't seem like there's like too much paint left on there. I'll just switch off. Right, so um, you like it that way, the way it is. Yep. You happy with with these corners being white? Yes. Did you want that little corner there white? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Okay. I've got a little it, bit of a corner there it does as well. Anyway. Sort of balance it out. But what you can do now is um take some paint and with this thing there, a stirrer, and just pour it over that corner if you want. Just to close it out. So that is absolutely insanely beautiful. Good job, Claudia. How do you feel about it? I like it. Is it kind of what you were after? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Alright guys, thank you so much for um, watching and um, thank you Claudia for doing an awesome artwork today. Thank you for having me. So this one has been sitting for a while now. The edges have started to dry and it's really beautiful you can see all the beautiful cells and the different colors gorgeous with the white negative space so claudia wanted to do this for her hallway which is um quite dark so she wanted to brighten things up And I don't know if you remember in the beginning of the video, she actually forgot to um, stir the silicone in. And it still turned out absolutely gorgeous. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.